Action News Now Storm Tracker Weather. Coverage you can count on. Crews brought out a snow plow to clear out some roads on the ridge today. It's a good thing they did. This is Old Megalia along Old Skyway just a few hours ago. Chief Meteorologist Jason Stiff with us now. Jason, it looks freezing out there. Yeah, it definitely looks winter like. We're almost to the beginning of spring, but we need as much winter weather as we can get. So we had the snow in the mountains. We've had rain and thunderstorms in the valley also, and it's all quite welcome. And we had more snow on a view from the Lexington Hill area. Lake Orville is in the distance, but you can't see it right now. We have more snow on the ground, plenty of clouds in the sky, and we can't rule out a little bit more snow late tonight through early tomorrow, but most of that precipitation precipitation is going away rapidly and look at the highs today. Nowhere near where we're supposed to be. Redding's high is supposed to be 15 degrees warmer than this. Today's high was 48 degrees. It was also 48 degrees in Chico, 51 briefly in Red Bluff, and 35 was the high in Bernie. Our current temperatures not too warm either. 43 degrees right now in Red Bluff, still at the high for the day in Chico. And look at Paradise. 38 degrees. It's going to be chilly tomorrow morning. Now you can see in the satellite and radar composite, we still have this swirl in the atmosphere. This is this area of low pressure. It's all rotating around it, but the entire storm system itself is moving to the south. So we're going to have fewer and fewer showers, fewer and fewer clouds as we progress through the night into the early morning hours. It's going to be a little bit chillier by tomorrow morning in the valley with lots of lows in the 30s. We're pretty close to it right now. We have current temperatures even at the 5 o'clock hour in the 40s. But we'll have some sunshine tomorrow afternoon, some lingering snow showers over the Sierra, and those two will disappear fairly quickly. Then we're going to have a little bit more sunshine also late Friday into early Saturday. Saturday before yet another weather pattern change occurs. We're going to have another storm moving our way. More wind, more valley rain, more mountain snow Sunday and Monday. It's a fairly large trough, but it's just not going to stay as long as we would like it to. We'll have more sunshine again on Tuesday. That once again replaced by more clouds next Wednesday and a decent chance looking eight to nine days out for more valley rain and mountain snow. And the amounts of rain that we're expecting between now and day seven, not too much in the next 12 hours or so, but by the time we get to Sunday and Monday, when that second storm comes in, we'll have most valley locations between a third of an inch and three fourths of an inch. Coming up in the second half hour of our newscast, I'll show you how much snow we are expecting. So here's your forecast for the northern mountains for tomorrow. We'll have more sunshine, fewer clouds, and warmer temperatures in the upper 40s and lower 50s. Chilly tonight with decreasing clouds for northeastern California. Still some spotty snow showers, also lows in the teens, daytime highs in the 40s. For the ridge, still some lingering snow showers tonight. Chillier too with lows mainly in the 30s. Highs tomorrow in the 40s and lower 50s. And the valley tonight will have lows mainly in the 30s. A chilly start. Make sure you bundle up for your Thursday. But the afternoon, it's going to be nice and mild with more sunshine and a high in the lower 60s. For the Chico area, lows also drop down to the 30s. We don't have to drop very far for that to happen. And highs tomorrow in the lower 60s. Below average, but starting to get closer to where we're supposed to be. The next seven days in Chico, we're going to have increasing sunshine and better temperatures for warmth outside. We'll have a high of 67 degrees on Friday. We'll have more wind and rain Sunday and Monday with some mountain snow, and the highs will be falling back. And for the Redding area, we'll have lower 60s tomorrow, upper 60s Friday and Saturday. Remember to spring forward Saturday night when you go back or go to bed, and then we'll have the temperatures falling back to the upper 50s by Monday with more wind and rain. Thanks, Jason. Locally